Hey everybody, it's Darcy. I'm the bad artist from London, Ontario, Canada. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, so things are going well here. We, I, I'm, I'm a mess. I was out gardening and I decided to do a watercolor painting. This one is for my friend, Mr. Campbell. He's one of those friends that uh, know, hangs out outdoors and names raccoons and everything. And he's the one guy you're gonna wanna be, meet and be with during the zombie apocalypse to make sure you survive. Now he wanted me, to, he's an excellent watercolor artist himself, but he wanted me to do him a bass fish. So I cheated a little bit, and you'll see what I mean in a second. It's, um, it's not so much a bass fish as what it is used for. And the one thing while you're watching this video I want you to think about is Father's Day gift. Because Father Day, Father's Day is coming up around the corner, and this might... Uh, if you boost your creative juices, this might be something you can do for your dad or even a husband or rotten brother that you love. And um, yeah, and it would be cheap and very personal. So here we go. And today we are doing a sort of fish painting. So the fish we are actually doing today is going to be a fishing lure rather than a fish. I thought this would be a nice change and um, Mr. Campbell is a huge fisherman so I'm doing this for him too. Now um, before I get there's there's not a very exciting history about fishing lures as you can tell uh, but the one point I want to bring up like I said this could be a very easy very simple and extremely cheap if you have the supplies uh, gift for Father's Day which is coming up just around the corner or even Christmas um, and it's just a matter for that fisherman in your family or someone who maybe they don't fish but they would enjoy something like this. You could do this on a greeting card and just one of the blank ones you can buy anywhere and just attach some nice corny sentence to it. Uh, Dear Dad, I'm glad I caught you in my life or uh, something like that. And then it's a fishing lure and very again very easy to do. Uh, the one thing you got to make sure you do too is just sign it and date it, right? Send it in there, dear dad. I'm, I'm sorry I crashed the car when I was 16, and uh, when my prom date didn't show up for my prom. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was going back in my own life there. Um, yeah, so it's just something like that. It's really simple to do. The one other thing that you'll notice um, these fishing lures actually have a printed. Uh, stencil on them. This this uh, one here is about 20 years old in my uh, tackle box and it's very simple to do. Uh, like you can see there you don't have to guesswork, you don't have to work at worry about shadows and you don't have to worry about lighting. This is very simply a stencil on a piece, piece of uh, reinforced cork or plastic and so it's very easy to mimic these. I did use a lot of uh, white gouache to highlight some areas in the lure just to make it look like light was shining on it as well. Um, and there I am doing some finer details. Ow, 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 I got this, I got this thing stuck in my finger. Get some pl pliers. What? What do you mean it's a prop? Ketchup? Yeah, this ketchup. All right, cut this out. Don't edit this out. All right, don't do that again. I thought it was blood. So anyway, um, and again, you see how I'm doing the pattern on the back of the lures there. Again, very simple, easy shapes. Um, there's nothing really to it. Now, some quick history about lures. They've been actually around, uh, as you can imagine, a really long time. Started with the Egyptians using bronze hooks and it was uh, they'd actually scoop these uh, fish up with their hands as best they could to twine and stuff like that. It was actually the Chinese who started using silk to uh, create the line um, to attach the lures to. And these things, they, they uh, a lot of them have different characteristics. Some have little ball bearings in it which make a sound to attract the fish. Others have um, different coatings to reflect light on them and they all have different tendencies of how they move. So anyway, 
that was it. This is the quick bass lure speed painting. Hope you have a good day. Um, the final result here is coming up. Uh, please like and subscribe at the current um, timing of this video. We're at 190 subscribers. You can also see there how I put the blue down to enhance the negative uh, space of the white lure. And because blue's water, of course. But anyway, listen, you have a great day. Um, thanks for watching and appreciate all the support. Take care. Bye for now.